In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Kai Jones and why I think that he could be the next Giannis Antetokounmpo, just one that can actually just shoot the basketball better because he does shoot 40% from the three-point line. So let's get down and let's check out Kai Jones. He is an absolutely amazing basketball player. Okay, so right here, that's Kai Jones. And from there, what we can see is somebody who can really run the court extremely well. He's able to rim run, he's able to understand where to go. He could have easily went towards the left side, but he understands that that player is looking towards the ball, wants to see what the ball is doing, and of course, and whenever a player turns their back to you, or at least the lane that you're taking, you need to definitely keep on rim running, and that you're just gonna get easy layups or dunks that way. Now in this next clip, we can see him in this bottom left corner, and of course, the defense is not paying attention to him. They are all paying attention to the ball, which is usually a good time for you to cut back door if you are on that far side. And when you're cutting back door, make sure sometimes it's easier to put your hand up, but otherwise you don't have to necessarily do that. Your teammates should be able to find you, and here he's able to be found. He didn't have the angle because, of course, the defender went to try and steal that ball, but he was able to still finish with that layup. We can also see in this clip that he's able to run the floor extremely well against a 2-on-1 or a 3-on-2 situation. Here we can really see his defense. Giannis is a very good low post defender and we can see that here as well. Kai Jones has a very high vertical jump and he's able to really block a lot of shots. Now after he blocks that shot, what we do see is his ability to run the floor. Once again, here he gets that ball and he's able to take it right to the rim. This is very Giannis like in my opinion. Now his footwork is also extremely good. Watch how his feet work. He's able to get around those two players, and he's able to finish with contact. I really would not be surprised if the Toronto Raptors took him at the fourth pick and moved him from where he's projected to go 10 all the way to 4. Now here on this side, he's cutting towards the basket, again, reading the defense, noticing that the defense is not paying attention to him on the far side, he's able to cut back door. Now something that, as a guard, what you really need to be able to do is to get that ball into the paint, because here we obviously have two different options for that point guard to pass to. However, they pass it to Kai Jones, he's able to take a step towards the baseline, he's able to take that power dribble into that defender, he's able to hop on two feet, and then he's able to finish with with the dunk. Very Giannis-like, very high athleticism, very good shooting, overall fantastic player. He also has a very good shot. He really kicks that right leg down in this case, and he, I really like his shooting triangle. He shoots the ball very nicely. He also looks to get those offensive rebounds. Here he's going up and around that defense, and he's able to go in and get that rebound. He understands, especially sitting here, that this player is already going to be rebounding on this side. There's a high percentage chance that that ball is going to bounce to this side. However, there is nobody boxing out in the middle. And if I'm looking to get a good chance of getting a rebound here, I would be definitely going towards the middle because nobody was there and that's what Kai Jones did as well. I really want you to see this next clip, so here he is up at the point. What he does here is a quick shot fake, a couple of jabs, and then on that second jab he attacks the basket. When he starts to attack, his defender is able to stick with him extremely well, however what he does here is very, very good. He hops off the left foot and lands on both at the exact same time. This then allows him to take that shot fake and to go basically with an up and under to go up for that dunk. So if you're looking to do this as a player drive land on both feet at once and then when you're landing as soon as you're landing go up for that shot fake so that you can step through and of course you can finish with a layup you can finish with a dunk whatever it is but if you can do this you're going to be very successful on the offensive side of the game again he lands on both feet here which is really nice he gets that ball hops off the left and lands on both at the exact same time now of course he didn't have any defenders around him he didn't have to do this however that stops his forward momentum gave him options if there was a defender but he still went up for the dunk 
So here he's setting a screen, and of course NBA teams set a lot of screens. Here he does a pick and pop where he actually pops out for a shot. Now because he is such a great three-point shooter, it makes the defenders sprint out to him. And that's what we've seen here. And now it puts him into the, or at the, having abilities to then attack that player, get him back onto his heels. And that's what we've seen here. He takes a nice closer shot, and he's able to hit that mid-range as well. Here we can actually see him using that jab a few times so that he can actually create space, gets his defender's heels down onto the ground, and then he's able to pop up for that three-point shot, and he's able to hit those shots as well. He's also able to combine shot fakes after he catches that ball, and then he's able to attack that rim, and he's able to finish over multiple players. This is a player who is already NBA ready, but he's still super raw. Remember, he was a track star. He was a track star before going to college. And we can see that here. He's able to find the open spot. He has that first step quickness to attack the basket, especially when the defense doesn't know what they're doing. And from there, he's able to finish with two hands. I really cannot stress this enough. If you are a player who is either playing the wings or the corners, I really cannot stress this enough. If you notice that the defense is, of course, not watching you, you need to be able to read that and you need to be able to cut back door and your teammates need to be able to see that as well because if they can, they can get you a ton of points. I could only imagine what he's going to be able to do if the Raptors were to pick him early and let's say re-sign Kyle Lowry, this would be a fantastic duel, especially with Siakam on the floor as well. Now I could only imagine having Kai Jones on the floor at the same time as Pascal Siakam, the amount of size and the ability to spread the floor, keeping the bigs, like let's say Jokic as an example, away from the key, that would open up the key for so much, getting Kyle Lowry, Fred Van Fleet to attack the middle and kicking that ball out. I really think that Kai Jones could be a fantastic fit for the Toronto Raptors. Now what's the chance of Kai Jones going for the Raptors? I'm not too sure, but when you see runs like this, it is really nice to be able to see and we can all get our hopes up if you're Raptors fans like I am. Now there's always one surprise pick that always happens in the top five every single year. And could this be one of the surprises? It possibly could be. However, at the same time, what's the chances? Very low. I'm a Raptors fan. I really would like to see Kai Jones in the with the Raptors if the Raptors cannot get somebody like a Jalen Green or even a Kaminga. Those two players I'm really high on for what they could do in the NBA. But anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.